For number five, it says that we need to reflect this triangle over y equals one. So on the y-axis, we go to the one, and I'm going to draw a dashed line right through there. So this is y equals one. <coughs> okay, now I need to reflect it. So if I start here with the c, this c is only one unit above y equals one, so I go one unit below. So here is c prime. Okay, for b, we're going up one, two, three, four. So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four. And we have b prime. And then for a, we go up one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five down. So a prime. And then once we have a, b, c prime, you can go ahead and connect those. So that would be reflected over y equals one. In number six is find the values of x and y. So to find this measurement first, I need to subtract from 138. Uh, I need to subtract 180 from 138. So 180 minus 138 would give me 42. So this is 42 degrees. But because this is isosceles with these marks here, this and this angle are equal. So if these are both 42, I can add those and then subtract that from 180 to get the top angle measurement. So if I subtract, we get 96. So 96 degrees is angle X. All right, number seven, um, this segment that's inside of the triangle is known as the mid-segment. Okay, it is half of 94. And so what I would do is I would take the 9x plus 2, and then I would do half of 94, and then I could solve it. So 9x plus 2 equals 47, subtract that 2, get 45, and then lastly divide by 9, x is 5. Okay, for number 8, first thing, um, our expression is the, set, the 7k minus 8. So let's go ahead and jot that down twice. Now the second part will be easy because this is always greater than 0. Okay. For the next one, I look at the 12 and the 16. And I see that 12 is less than 16. So I would use less than, but I'm comparing angles, so I have to go to 38. So this angle measurement compared to this angle measurement. All right, so I solve. And we get, what is that, 46. And if I divide by 7, we see that that will be a decimal. And it ends up coming out to 6.5. Here, if I add 8, we get uh, 8. And then divide by 7, we get 8 sevenths. But this also can divide to 1.1. So I find the smaller number, which is 1.1. And that goes first. The bigger number goes at the end and the variable goes in the middle. So this part right here looks like this one. Oh, it's not an X, it's a K. So this is like this one, so I'm gonna use less than. And then I flip this around, okay, I flipped it around, so this becomes a less than as well.